Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Sarah Christina and if you're returning, welcome back. You know I love having you all here. If for today's video guys, I have some new products to test out that I just received in the mail. So if you guys want to see me test out these new products, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and let's get into today's video. some new products to test out that I received from Influencer and KVD Beauty. We have a foundation, a lippy, and a blush. So let's first get into the foundation. Now I did do my eyes off camera because there is no eyeshadow or bronze or anything like that. So the products that I don't have to try, I'm going to do off camera so it's not a long video. And the products I do have to try, we'll do on camera together. Now, the first thing I want to test out is the foundation. And this is the True Portrait Liquid to Powder Foundation. Now, the packaging is absolutely stunning. I love it. I love how it's white <laughs> with silver. Now, it says back here... Ensure skin is hydrated, shake well, squeeze to dispense a small drop, and blend with brush or fingers. A little goes a long way. Now it says moisturize before you apply so your skin is hydrated and smooth. So I'm first going to go in with my Glassy Touch of Soul uh, Moisturizing Primer. And I'm going to put this all over the skin first. So we're just going to dab that around. This is a liquid to powder finish. So I want to make sure my skin doesn't dry up. So I'm just going to put this all over the face. Have you guys tried these products before? Let me know what your thoughts are on them. Because this is my first time trying KVD since um, Cat Mom D isn't a part of it. Um, now, even beforehand, I really didn't really use their products. Like, I've tried their lipsticks or their liquid lips before, and I think that's all I've ever used of theirs. But I got sent this from Influencer to review, so I thought, hey, what is a perfect time to try a new brand that I've never tried before? Well, kind of never tried before. <laughs> and try some new makeup so it says to shake very well to ensure the formula is fully mixed if it looks watery you'll get you'll gotta shake it some more okay and then it says to squeeze a desired amount and it says do not is it with this fluid formula sorry guys we don't recommend using a makeup sponge so it says to either use your fingers or use a brush. So I'm definitely going to use a brush. I just want to make sure it's shaken very well. So this is what the outer packaging looks like. It's got this beautiful design around it. And you can see the shade inside. And then it's got KBD on the top here in silver. It's a very cute packaging. Now this retails for $49 at Sephora. So it is a pretty pricey <laughs> foundation. So I'm going to take it on my BH Cosmetics um, Royal Affairs uh, foundation brush. And I'm just going to put a couple of dabs on it, just like that. And I'm just going to dispense it around my face first. And then I'll blend it out. Now it does say it is a light to medium coverage. And this is in the shade tan. So we're gonna see how this blends out and looks. Now like I said, this is my first time trying these products. Now they are vegan and cruelty free. So that's good. So far it feels really, really lightweight on the skin. Like I feel like I've got nothing on my skin right now. and. There is a little bit of a scent, but it's not overwhelming. It is blending out very nicely and very easily. 
I actually quite like that, but it is super lightweight. So I am going to put a couple more dabs on the brush just to get a little more coverage on the spots where I need it. Like my cheeks. Mostly around here is where I need the extra coverage. It does seem it's a buildable. It is very pretty. I do like the way it's building up on the skin and the way it's blending out. Like I said, it's super lightweight. Like I feel like I've got nothing on my face. And I can tell it is drying up to be a matte finish. So that blended out really, really nice. I actually like the way it looks. Now it says that this formula will not clog your pores. But I like the way it looks, like that looks pretty good. That looks really, really nice on the skin. I really like the way that blended out and I love the way it feels. It's really lightweight on the skin. Like I feel like I got nothing on right now. And like I said, it blended out so easily and it built up really nicely when I put on the second layer. So it is a very light to medium coverage, but it does make your skin look really, really pretty and super lightweight. And I can tell what they mean by matte, but like, I feel like I got nothing on. So I'm just gonna go powder and put some bronzer on and then we'll try out the blush and the lippy. I put on my bronzer and powder. Um, for powder, I went in with my Maybelline Fit Me powder. And for bronzer, as you guys know, I went in with my Tarte Park Avenue Princess palette. So now we're gonna try the blush. And this is called the Everlasting Blush. And this is in shade Fox Glove. And this says just to lightly kiss your brush into the blush and top tap off access. With the highly pigmented powder, a little goes a long way. That seems to be this whole theme, a little goes a long way. And then apply any way you like along the cheekbones, apply to your cheeks, make it extra dramatic. So this is what the blush looks like. The component is absolutely stunning. I love the flower raised component they got for these. I think they're just absolutely stunning. So that is what the blush looks like on the inside. It's such a beautiful pinkish, peaches tone. It's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna take my blush brush from BH Cosmetics, and I'm just gonna tap, ooh, it is very powdery. You get a lot of fallout, as you guys can tell. So they weren't kidding about just lightly tap. And I'm just gonna take it on the cheeks. Ooh, yeah. That is very highly pigmented, and it's very, very pretty. Ooh, I really love this shade. Just a little bit on the nose, on the chin, the forehead. But yes, it is very highly pigmented. It blends out super easy. It is so stunning and it's a matte formula. I really, really like it. I love the color. It's so pretty. It just glides right on super easy. But I would go very light handed with it because it is powdery and it is super pigmented. So you don't want to go too crazy. So definitely tap in very lightly with these blushes. And last but not least, oh, first we got to put on some highlighter. And I'm just going to go in with my Wet n Wild um, I'm So Lit highlighter. And I'm just going to put this on to my face. If I can find a brush, that would be great. There it is. I'm just going to tap into it very lightly because this is very powdery. I'm just going to put that on here. Oh, I love this highlighter. It's so blinding. So, like, this is something else. You want to go in very light-handed <laughs> unless you want that extra bit of glow. 
And girl, you go to town, you know, it's totally up to yourself. But, oh, I love this highlighter, too. Mmm. So pretty. So pretty. I'm really liking the way the foundation is looking on my face so far. Like, it's just looking flawless. And like I said, it's super lightweight. The blush is really pigmented and beautiful. All right, last but definitely not least now, <laughs> uh, we got the XO Vinyl Lip Cream. And this is in the shade Lolita. You guys can read that right there. Such a beautiful shade. It says it's an extreme opacity gloss with a sh sorry with a sexy sexy vinyl shine finish. Mix and match any of the six luscious shades, uh, and they're all vegan. So I forgot to tell you guys the foundation comes in forty different shades. The blushes come in six different ones, and these also come in six shades. So I'm just going to put this on. I do love the applicator. It's like this hourglass shape, but it's super easy to use. Ooh, this is such a beautiful color, too. They're not kidding about this being high pigmented. Like, look at that. Like, this is a gloss. It looks like a liquid lip. Oh, it is so pretty. Mmm. This, oh. Oh my goodness, what is that smell? Ooh, it smells like a vanilla cupcake. Like, literally a vanilla cupcake. This is what these smell like. This is what it looks like on the lip. It is very highly pigmented and just glides on so effortlessly. Ooh, it's very lightweight on the lips. It's very creamy, very pigmented. Like I find it very hard to believe this is a gloss because it feels like a liquid lip, but it's just so creamy, so lightweight so pigmented i absolutely love this and it smells like a vanilla cupcake so i gotta be careful i don't eat this because it smells good um, but that is the full face um trying out the new kvd beauty or vegan beauty products like i said i've never tried these products before and i'm actually really really impressed the foundation was so pretty. It's super lightweight on the skin. It is a very light to medium, um, light to medium coverage. <laughs> Sorry guys, this isolation stuff is really starting to get to me now. But um, it is a very light to medium coverage and also make sure you do shake it very well before using it. Um, the blush is beautiful. It's highly pigmented. You definitely don't need a lot. Like a little bit does go a long way with it. And it just looks so beautiful on the skin. And the lippy, I gotta say, is my favorite. It's a gloss, but it's so lightweight on the lips. It literally feels like I'm wearing nothing. It's super creamy, super opaque. Like it's just gorgeous. And I love this color. I love the way it looks on my lips. If you guys have tried these products before, let me know your thoughts on them down below in the comment section because I'd love to hear what you guys think about them. And if you guys tried them, do you like them, do you not? Let me know your opinions. If there's any other videos you guys want me to do, let me know in the comment section also because, well... I'm bored and want to film more videos, so please let me know what you guys would like to see right now because this quarantine stuff has got me going crazy. So the more I can film, the better. <laughs> um, but also hit that notification bell, guys, so you're notified of all my upcoming uploads. And if you guys like this types of videos where I do reviews, then give this video a big thumbs up so I know you guys are enjoying the reviews I'm doing on different products and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you guys are all being safe and you're all staying healthy and clean and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Have a great night guys.